Joe Biden has changed the rules, and I'm not going to belabor it because I went over it with you last week, in a way that has resulted in this ongoing crisis. And it's not just little kids. They're teenagers and adults who are crossing the border in larger numbers because, A, he's weakened our policies at the border. B, he's weakened interior enforcement. The signal Joe Biden has sent to every alien who wants to travel here illegally is, if you get here and get past the border, you're free and clear. So in addition to election integrity, we have the immigration crisis. We filed a lawsuit. Uh, one of the reasons we have an immigration crisis that ebbs and flows depending on the lack or their, the lack or strength of enforcement here in the United States are sanctuary policies in virtually every major city in the country. And one of the worst sanctuary policies is in San Francisco. And Judicial Watch sued on behalf of a taxpayer in San Francisco who says um, the lawsuit alleges the sanctuary policy is illegal and tax dollars in California can't be used uh, to promote or uh, on behalf to be to promote or affect uh, illegal policies. Simple, ca- simple case, right? So they tried to shut it down, and thankfully the court allowed it to go forward. And as a result, we were able to obtain significant discovery from the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. And uh, now we're about to fight the next stage of the battle, whether uh, the court allows it to go to trial. It's already been set for trial, but the left is, uh, the, our, the defendants are coming in and saying, oh no, all the evidence seduced to date shows that they should win on quote summary judgment and should be summarily dismissed. So as part of that process, Judicial Watch presented its evidence to the court. And for instance, we found that there were at least 2,400 illegal alien criminals released under San Francisco's office sanctuary policy. And our expert looked at the worst of the worst, the ones even that the secretary, excuse me, the sheriff's department admitted, these are the people we want to be examining. These are the sorts of people they were examining. A citizen of Cuba faced charges for burglary and parole violations with a prior burglary conviction. A a citizen of Vietnam faced charges for robbery, battery, and assault. Citizen of Ethiopia was charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Citizen of Mexico had a long list of current and prior offenses, including convictions for assault with a deadly weapon, robbery, felony assault, false imprisonment, burglary. The individual appeared to have been arrested at least nine times between January of 2015 and March of 2020. So it goes on and on. Of course, none of these folks, it looks like, were turned over to ICE for consideration for deportation. It's really outrageous. And uh, Judicial Watch has compiled tremendous information showing that even under Biden's deportation stand down, practically speaking, these folks would have been subject to removal from the United States for these types of crimes. As I said, our lawsuit shows that San Francisco shares policy is not only unlawful, but it is a clear and present danger to the public safety. And so this is on top of the crisis we're facing at the border as a result of Joe Biden's changes to policies. The media is trying to give him cover. They're complaining that he's actually doing what the law requires, which is uh, uh, making sure that individuals crossing the border illegally are processed before they go anywhere. Now, under the Trump administration, a lot of those individuals have never crossed the border. But Joe Biden has changed the rules, and I'm not going to belabor it because I went over it with you last week, in a way that has resulted in this ongoing crisis. And it's not just little kids. They're teenagers and adults who are crossing the border in larger numbers because, A, he's weakened our policies at the border, B, He's weakened interior enforcement. The signal Joe Biden has sent to every alien who wants to travel here illegally is, if you get here and get past the border, you're free and clear. So unsurprisingly, potentially millions are going to follow up on that and try to cross here illegally. 
and and Joe Biden's refusal to enforce the law. I mean, it's one thing, you know, if he, he look, he can say, look, I disagree with Trump's policies on asylum. I think he should have done it the old way, which was allowing people to cross into the country, come up with obviously dubious claims of asylum. They get a court date and they never show up again. And Biden wants to reinstitute that policy because uh, Trump's policy was more or less, you can apply for asylum and we'll consider it, but you have to do it elsewhere outside the United States because you're not going to gain the system. So we've got this border crisis and we could have a wall 100 feet high. But if you've got sanctuary policies like San Francisco's, they won't work because what San Francisco is telling illegal aliens and criminal legal aliens, you do whatever you want, practically speaking. A, we, we're really not going to care if you're here illegally. And even if you commit a crime, in addition to being here illegally, which is often always a crime, we're not going to turn you into ICE, despite what the law says. That's the state of play in San Francisco. And Judicial Watch is challenging that case, challenging that policy, that sanctuary policy. There's a similar policy in Santa Clara, California, uh, which is just south of San Francisco. We've got a similar case. So we'll see how that case goes as well. But I, I encourage you to read the full brief. We, uh, we spent a lot of time and effort and money to try to defend the rule of law there. And we hope the court... Uh, gives us the trial that he said, or, you know, we proceed the trial. But the information there is devastating, Ir irrespective of whether we, quote, win or not. The information is devastating. It shows that San Francisco is acting contrary, not only to the rule of law, but placing people at grave risk, at grave risk. And I'm, I'm so proud of the work we're done there. And we can only do it with your support. So I appreciate your work, your support of our work in that regard as well. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.